Good morning, Internet. Uh, so, we've got a lovely morning today. It's a lovely day. If you can't tell, it couldn't be more clear this morning. It's so bright I can't even see the screen on my camera. And just a minute ago, it got all blurry. So... Shoot, I'm getting back in the shade real fast. Uh, so this morning, we are going, or not this morning, uh, later today we are going to go down to St. Augustine. And we're, hopefully we're going to have some fun there. So we're on our way down to St. Augustine today, and up ahead is the lighthouse. Yeah, it's... Wouldn't that be cool to have a lighthouse in your backyard? So we're about to cross over the Bridge of Lions, which you know is the entrance to St. Augustine, and we are on it. It's a large drawbridge. We were going one. sailing on the... Yeah. On the Freedom. That was a pretty cool... Then there's some other ship down here. Oh, that's supposed to be in while we're here. It's a big ship. Yeah. It's a Spanish Galleon. That they used in a bunch of... There it is. I think it's used in a Black Sails. And then a bunch of other movies. I think that's it right there. Probably. It's like the freedom right there, but yeah, I see that ship you're talking about. The black one. The black and red one. Oh, no. There's the fort over there. Yeah, there's the Castillo de San Marcos. Maybe that's where you should go, Alex. Go to Flagler College. And there's two lion statues. Yeah. I think that was the ghost train right there. Yeah. Because the black one is the ghost train. Like, hey, what are you doing here? You didn't pay to be in this museum. Not very tasty. <laughs> well, it tastes so bad that if it doesn't kill you, you're gonna live forever. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's some a peacock. Look right there, there's a pigeon. Wherever it went, there it is. Right now we're in the spring house. There's a little. Oh, we got a. So this, I guess this is the fountain of water. This is the fountain of youth water. Um, Oh, oh this, stuff, this does not taste that good. It's not the worst thing I've ever tried, but... Well, hey, at least now I'm going to live forever. Well, you and that peacock would get along well, Alex. You get along well with all animals. All animals are chill around you. Oh, his tail. Take a look at that giant pot. There's a cannon. There's two other cannons over there. There's two more giant pots. There's a lot of giant pots around. Gosh, this isn't sounding right. Probably. I think uh, it's been years, so things change. I don't well, think we're allowed to sit on these. I think we're allowed to go in though. Uh, I don't know. Can we sit in this? I don't think. I really want to sit down, but... oh. Some skulls right there. There's some skulls. Oh well, for this. Oh. This is what the tea pot. Yeah. Gotta be careful in here. 
Well, I mean, as long as you don't cross the rope barrier. Yeah, don't cross this rope barrier. Now, all of a sudden, this rug's getting graphic. Well, there's an alligator skull on here. Oh, and look right there. I think this is alligator skin. Poor alligator. Haven't seen any alligators yet. Seen a couple snakes, but not many alligators. Now here's the uh, Let's see. And, uh, yeah, there's a waterfront. We might, we might watch some cannon firings later. And there's the uh, cross. I've been on that ground before. I think I went on there last time I went to St. August, came here. And that was three years ago. There was one point in time where we were coming here every year. Walk and tackle. He uses a lot more rope. He uses four times as much rope. And you gotta pull it four times as much to pick it up. It's 60 pounds. Look over there, you can see the lighthouse. But uh, you're welcome to come up to this line and fit so we to take a better picture. If they're capped very quickly, we're going to park. Big boat. Looks like this is a mud bank right here, I guess. Yeah, it's just it's a creek. The tide's out. Mm -hmm. Little bridge there. Oh, there's a picture. It won't be as high as the uh, as the lighthouse. Just like I said, you can see from here. But um, yeah. So this is the top of the tower. I don't think you can tell, that's the giant cross right there. I can... Is it a certain angle? And that's the Bridge of Lions right there. There's no... Shame there's not a boat that's tall enough that's gonna go under it. Otherwise this would be a great angle. There you are. There's the lighthouse. Yep, there's the lighthouse. Right here is a statue of, I think, Hans de Leon. Now, if I had a bullet or a bag of shot, which uh, I do, but uh, no.
The managers of the park really frown on us shooting live ammunition here. It's a strange thing called liability. I don't really know what that is, but they don't want anything to do with it. And they also know that us reenactors would severely thin the peacock population. <laughs> we hate those birds. But no live ammunition. I apologize for that, mostly to myself. I'm setting the match. Now I blow on it, remove any cold debris from it, and get it burning hot. And I place it here in the jaws of the serpentine. Now this is admittedly where it can get quite dangerous to you with one of these weapons if you have not been paying attention to what you're doing with it. I have to make absolutely certain that when I squeeze this trigger, the burning tip of that match is going to hit the powder in the pan, ion dead center, to ignite the charge. So immediately before firing a match lock, you actually always test it by manually lowering the match onto the pan lid. Now dwell on that for a moment. This is a burning hot piece of match. What do you suppose could have happened if I'm doing this and I left any of that extra gunpowder on the pan lid? Boom. That's right, it would flare up right in my face. It might be mildly amusing for all of you, but <laughs> not for me, I promise you. Now, my final four commands will be in Spanish. Please watch the burning tip of the match to see how the weapon works. And a word of caution that some of you are already on your way to. <laughs> I'm generous with gunpowder and wadding, so this is going to be on the loud side of things. So if you have sensitive hearing, or still developing hearing, I do suggest that you cover your ears. <laughs> Raven Lamecha! Repairing! Putin! Fuego! Oh, boy. <laughs> this is the church right here. I'm from the first floor. This is where all the choir people stood. There's men to the left, women to the right, or something like that. And yeah, all the choir boys sat up here, only they didn't have these stairs, they had a rope ladder. Must have been pretty hard. <laughs> And this looks like a giant pickaxe. It's an anchor. Yeah. I know it is an anchor. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Peacock. How are you today? And would you look at that? Four peacocks. This is like Peacock Central right here. This is squirrels. I guess they like the peacock food because you can feed the peacocks. And of course there's some other ones. And there's a big white one right there. Turning his back right to me. Oh, would you look right there? There's another white peacock. Very beautiful thing. And I already showed one white peacock. She's trying to show herself off. It's a Spanish galleon. And it's been used in movies before. If it's the one I'm thinking of, there's supposed to be one here, right during this time. That they yeah, they're not actually trains. It's the original of the Comic Lodge. There's a train. I'm filming it right now. <laughs> the church. There's the Freedom, and there's the. Uh... Remember that time they had the Br not Bridge of Lions? Yeah. yeah. So that was being rebuilt. Yeah. yeah. They eventually tear that bridge down. Yeah, the temporary bridge they took down. Uh, it was just there while a major rebuild of this bridge. Yeah. Yeah, no. That was called the Bridge of not lot of tigers Pumas. or not it's bridge of pumas it all right bridge of pumas. well the bridge of pumas no longer stands and then there was the second point in time we came here while this was still being rebuilt and the bridge of lions was right next to the bridge of pumas i guess yeah that's what we're calling it now 
and it was being like, it, and it, you could see it being rebuilt and all that. So we've been back home for a while, but I just haven't bit, bit picked up my camera and filmed by then. Uh, I don't know what else we're gonna do today, if we're gonna do any more today. And we, you know, we got a beautiful day, so it is a probably, or a decent day anyway. It was, well, it was clear earlier today. But, um, yeah, I'll just let you guys know if we do anything else. We might go to the pool and I might actually take my vlog camera down. So, yeah. See? Just look at that foam around it. Where's the moon? Check out my new sunglasses. Mom, come over here and look at my shot. Just be careful. Yeah. Now that I could use an awareness. Are you taking a photo or this is a video? But you can get it. I could do that. I could do that. Move the you see how many moves. Mm-hmm. You come in and the out of the shot and you have to get it in at all. Oh, did you look at that? Brennan's working on a rock tower. I'm gonna be careful. I don't wanna break my camera. Like I said, it's not really common when you're I take my camera down to this beach because I don't wanna get sand in it. Now look at the moon. It's really starting to look kind of spooky. Hey guys, so we're back at uh, the condo after being on the beach of that nice full moon. 
I had a lot of fun today. We went going down to St. Augustine and all that. We might go down there again later this week, but uh, or next week. It depends. It's hard to believe it. it's only Wednesday. So yeah, um, I guess I'm yeah I'm gonna wrap things up here. So um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like, favorite the video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.